to see a bit more, yeah? Here we go. Cherry Graham, foot down. Pedal to the metal. Let it go. Look at that. Another 360. Power sliding it out. Oh, amazing control. And this little pocket rocket. Now we get into some close-up control. Off comes the steering wheel. Oh, throw it out the window, why don't you? Hope it goes back on. Indeed it does. You can just imagine the amount of tyres that he gets through in a season. Thank goodness he's got a tyre sponsor. Right, you also have to be fit because he doesn't just drive one car a part of his show. There's two or three, and I'm not sure which one he's going for right now. Maybe it's the Porsche Boxster. It is indeed. Here we go. Out with the Porsche Boxster. Beautiful machine. And if you're going to treat yourself to a sports car, why not drive it like you stole it? Come on, Terry. looking for the best spot to get the turn. Let's try a bit of a 360 in the box there. Terry also the world record holder that was set here for doing donuts in one particular machine, which is the TVR, you can see, looming in the pit area. Actually broke that record at this very show in 2011. A little bit of a wave to our friends up in the VIP suite, the Royal Box. Right, we'll pump that one up there. Maybe a J-turn, let me get out of the way. Flat out, in reverse. Turns the wheel, perfect J-turn. That's what you usually see in the James Bond movies and the like. And the thing is, the stars of the show always get the credit, but nine times out of ten is people like Terry. In fact, Terry himself in a lot of movies over the last ten years. And that's how to park your car. Give him a round of applause, Mr. Terry Grant. Absolutely brilliant. Now I'm hoping that the TVR's coming out to play. This thing sounds awesome. 50 grand with a sports car, and he's going to throw it about like it costs up and take you. Here we go. The TVR really does sound the business. And it's new colours, the Monster Energy colours. And it comes. Oh. Size up tail. Doesn't that sound the absolute business? very close to that ramp that's going to be part of his display towards the end. We're going to make sure he doesn't get the front bumper of that TVR tied up in the metal work. Absolute control. It's a pleasure to watch. It's still just a little bit greasy out here. It's drying out as we speak, but 
certainly is finding it a little bit difficult in places. Give him a wave, come on. this arena as well and they're leaving a little bit of rubber down on the top which makes it even more slippery I thought he was going to go sideways into Sean Taylor's amazing truck right then Terry's doing right now is just trying to find a perfect spot just to do a little bit more. Oh, I thought he, I thought he got that traffic cone then for a second, but he just missed it. Just enough space to get it through. Oh. One way to save you getting out of the car. <laughs> I'm not sure whether he wanted to move that or whether it was a little bit of a showing off manoeuvre. Maybe he did need the space. Whoa! And stop the car. Give him a round of applause, Terry Grant. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Well, there's three out of the toy box. It looks like we're going for number four. And if you missed out on what we do on the start line, he actually tried to put this on two wheels on that very, very slippery surface earlier. This is Herbie. Anybody, anybody in the audience, the youngsters, ever seen any of the Herbie films? Whoa! I can't know where to go! <laughs> Hang on a minute, whoa! Terry, that's not advisable when we've got some... The car! What do you mean it's the car? It's the car. You slagged the car down one day and it doesn't like you anymore. Unbelievable. I'm going to take uh, a little bit of refuge. He's a swine, though. He really... Oh. I've got to keep behind him. He blames the car. But we were saying earlier on, this particular machine used in one of the latest Herbie movies. Going. Nice and steady. <laughs> Terry, it's too wet for messing about. Now I'm packing in. Yeah. No, not. You promise you leave me alone, yeah? It is you. <laughs> Herbie apparently, as the youngsters will know, has got a complete mind of its own. And oh heck. <laughs> Enough already. It's too early in the season for a broken leg. Which I hasten to add, at the middle of last year, he did get that wrong and he knocked me over. Oh. Sure. All right, I admit it, I love the car. It's a super car. All right. Now, can you do a donut? in a front-wheel drive machine. Well, yes, you actually can, but you've got to do it in reverse. There we go. Excellent stuff. Trying to get a little bit of grip from that front-wheel drive. So one of the only remaining cars left from the movie, Universal Studios had 12 of these done. And uh, one of them donated to the Terry Grant Sons Academy. Let's try that again. Jason, very, very difficult manoeuvre. Flat out in reverse. And as you're turning, you've got to clutch down into uh, a forward gear and pull it away in one smooth manoeuvre. He makes it look easy, but believe me, you can learn how to drive just like this. Just uh, go on to soundofpod.com and get some information about the Terry Grant Stunt Academy, which is based here at Sansapod Raceway. 
and already some very, very good drivers have been located through the Stunt Academy. And it's not just the guys, in fact, Terry Grant in Formsbury, some of the finest drivers that have joined him at the Stunt Academy have actually been the ladies. And it's lovely to hear that the ladies are joining in and are being appreciated as brilliant drivers.